thought I'd do a little update here. I've been asked a few questions about um, how I have um, how my filtration my filtration system is running and how I have this set up. And I just thought I'd do a little video and explain to everyone how this is working. So, first off, we have the um, we have my drain from the aquarium and a meter involved so that I can adjust the flow of the water going into the sump. Um, this is, by the way, this sump is a um, all right, Emerald 26 from Trigger Systems. So that's what I'm running. Um, next up, in the back of this sump, I, I have one filter sock. Um, the water drains, goes in, and a, on top of that filter, filter sock, I have a uh, foam sponge. And the water drains, goes into the foam, foam sponge, down into the filter sock, into my um, skimmer section. Um, I'm running a Skims 143 protein skimmer which I absolutely love. This skimmer has worked great for me. I've had it for a few months and it's all I can say is it's doing an excellent job. And, um, then um, next step um, you know water goes into my um, refugium section and I've just added some shade all down here. I had um, my algae kind of, I don't know, it, it, all of it kind of died. And, um, so I'm trying this again. Now my nutrients level is a little higher in the system. So hopefully we'll be able to grow some algae. Um, I also purchased another light that came in. Light, I had to light on this system for one day and came home and the thing wasn't working. So. They're actually sending me out another refugium light, so waiting on that to show up. Until then, I've just got this um, 65K bulb um, attached um, little DY thing I set up here. And um, next up, I have a couple of um, couple of sponges going down um, underneath that sponge. Underneath the second sponge, I have an aquarium heater um, resting down there, and that's my main heater for this system. And then the water goes into the return section. In that section, of course, I have my return pump. I have a check valve here for um, a Y check valve for the system um, to keep the water from returning into my sump in case of a power outage and doesn't overflow the system. Um, above that, I have a shutoff valve in case I uh, need to disassemble the pump or disassemble the check valve and clean the check valve out or anything like something like that. Um, also, also in that section. I have my dosing pump that I am dosing. Well, right now it's going up. I I am currently dosing uh, 40 milliliters of alkalinity five times a day and um, 23 milliliters of um, calcium a day and one mil of um, magnesium a day and in this container um, a lot of times I dose some um, calc washer to try to balance my pH um, so we have that going on in there also in that and also in that part we have my smart ATO which um, this is my top off container here and the smart ATO has a pump, there's a pump running from this container to the smart, to the return section 
connected to the smart ATO that um, tops off my system when the water level gets too low. Also in that section, we have um, another um, JBO DCT 4000 um, pump that I have. Um, I have a manifold hooked to it. First off, I have a, um, a union that I can take apart and remove the pump. Um, first off in that, in that line is um, a line running to my bio pellet reactor, which returns the water into my skimmer section. Um, next, um, I have a backup heater attached to that. Um, which will come on if um, something happens with that here, which is connected. All of this is running off of Digital, digital Aquatics um, Reef Keeper Elite. Um, next, we have a, um, a line run into my BRS, GFO, and carbon, dual carbon reactor, um, which um, basically I mean, you know, running GFO that I change out once a month. Um, and my carbon, I change that out once every couple of weeks. I run a cup of each in this, in this, uh, in these reactors. Um, and finally, hooked up here, we have a line running to um, my UV sterilizer in the back, which also returns the wire to um, my skimmer section. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, oh, and also down here I have another aquarium um, temperature controller, which is attached to my main heater. So, uh, redundancy is always good in this hobby, which I have, which I basically have um, two controllers running three heaters, or two heaters, so, or, yeah, three controllers running two heaters, um, so, yeah, and that's pretty much it, that's um, pretty much it in a nutshell, that's all um, running this system. And yeah, so that's that's what keeps this whole thing going. I will um, give you guys a uh, look at the tank here before I go. It is currently. Yeah, it's quarter to eight. Mm. These are the, this is the lighting. All the fish think it's um, feeding time. You know, it's getting to be now where I get close to the tank and everyone thinks that it's time to eat. So, Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.